Hey guys, this is going to be a review of the Vermeer Navigator D33 by 44 uh, directional drilling rig. I honestly can't remember how much I bought this model for. I think I got it for either $19 or $29. Uh, either way, I can't remember. Uh, it's made by Joel in 150 scale. Definitely not the most detailed model. Uh, and definitely not the most functional model, but um, nonetheless, it's kind of a cool model to have. Um, a company that I occasionally work for uh, has got a uh, 16 by 23 drill rig, I believe, and they've also got a smaller dig uh, ditch witch drill rig, and they do a lot of directional drilling, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have. So, just gonna get started. You can see uh, there's the Vermeer logo and everything. Uh, very first thing I'm going to start with here is um, the chair. You can see it's the Vermeer logo over here with the uh, guy, on, the Vermeer guy in the green V. A little dusty. That's the chair with your controls on it. And it does swivel for transportation, so if you're moving, you'd have it on a trailer or whatever when you're actually drilling you can swivel it so uh, you're facing what you're doing so not a whole lot of operating detail that's where all your gauges there would be a screen on it and the way the screen the way the screen looks is um it looks like a compass right and you take and uh the way directional drilling works in general so say you've got your drill rig over here and um I don't really have anything, but say you take a box and it's got, what it is, is it's got a locator in this box and the drilling head has a locator in it as well. And so this compass that you're looking at on the screen uh, has a little dot on it and it, it sh the compass is showing where this locator box is. And as you're going, you can see where your drill head is and uh, you just try and keep that drill head the dot in the middle of the screen you just try and keep that going straight at that box so that way because it will track one way or the other if you're not if you don't keep ahead of it and then so as you go along then you pick up your box and you move it again and you just get from here to there and then you keep going however many feet of cable you need to run so that's a mini drill drilling lesson so back to the model um, there is a hydraulic cylinder right there in between the tracks to put it up to uh, put to uh, move the model and then when you're doing the drilling itself you can put it down so I'm gonna just put it up for now there are rubber tracks which uh, do roll on this kind of surface but on anything smoother they wouldn't really roll yeah, they are rubber. Uh, pretty good undercarry, uh, well, excuse me, track frame detail, not too great. So you can see there is some bolt detail, and uh, it's just pretty good. There's a vent right here. Vent in the back, which just has some texture to it. It's not etched all the way through, though. So right here, this is your, uh, this right here is your frame that uh, the, the drill bit slides upon. The way it works is say you're going to come up and drill, you these augers here. Here, I need to use both hands for this. Obviously, I can't do it on, into here, but you put it, it down and then you dr put these augers down and they drill down into the ground. And that way, it keeps it from moving side to side while you're drilling. It just gets keeps it uh, straighter. So the way this works is these are these are your extra pieces uh, these are your extensions in here. So the way it works is um, you drill and you go out and drill like this. Get it out as far as it'll go. Which is there. And then you this piece right here would latch on to this rod. And then this piece up here 
detaches, it pulls back, and at this point the rod wouldn't be in there. You drop another extension in, and then you just push it forward, and you keep doing that, and it keeps going and going and going, and bring it back, put another extension rod in, and just keep it going back and forth. So that's how it would work in real life, obviously not on the model. But so it, it, from a model perspective, it is pretty functional. That's as far as it goes. Uh, it goes smooth, no hitches or anything. On the uh, motor for sliding, it is very detailed. It's got uh, all the rivet detail and everything on it. Different motors and whatnot. So very detailed. So that's just another look at it. This is a look at it from the other side. As I said, all your extensions in there. All that good stuff. So there's a close up of these of the augers. On the underside, nothing special. So uh, as I do in all my reviews, I show that it does fit on a 150 seal trailer. Obviously, it fit on a low boy trailer. So here's the first gear uh, tag trailer. So as you can tell, it does fit on, and it actually looks really cool. I like the looks of it quite a lot on this trailer. So that's that. Um, so yeah, 19, 20 bucks, or I can't remember, maybe it was 30, but whatever it was, um, you know, it's worth it if you really want it, but other, you know, I've used it once in one dial, but other than that, I haven't really used it, but thanks a lot guys, and have a good one, uh, if you want to see anything, just let me know, this was requested by we Mikey, uh, Western Ontario. Sorry, Mikey, I can't remember all the numbers after it. But he requested this, so if you want to see any uh, models I've done a review of, just let me know and I'll do it. So thanks a lot, guys, and have a good one.